Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's a wiggle worm, how cute is that? Love this stamp set, wiggle worm. Too cute with the wiggly bugs dies to go with it. And I, um, this is just about the, the bugs. They're so cute. Insects, we would call them, but you know what I mean. It's about those. And so I put this one on black and I thought, mm, I wonder what it would have looked on white. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put it on white. Okay, so let me get the dies out actually because there's a lot of die cut shapes and oh sticking. So we've got we've got all of the bugs. So I'm gonna have all of those out. And then we've got toadstools, we're gonna have a couple of those as well. And then these are the butterflies, which are uh, the dragonflies rather. There's one there and the centre of it and flower shapes as well. And then a border and then obviously a big leaf there. So those are the ones I'm going to work with. So I'm going to scoot those to one side and pull out all my, all my little critters. And I'm going to stick them all up on blocks. Good job I've got plenty of blocks, isn't it? Okay, so there's those five, and I've got my memento and a scrap of whisper white. And stamp all of these. Last one. Scooch. The whole lot out of the way. Oh, I need to do some die cutting now. And so what I've got is a magnetic platform, clear plate, and I will do my best to get as many cuts as I can in one go. The magnets might jump about a bit and might not like it too much, but fingers crossed. Looks like I'm going to be able to get them all done. Look at that. And now I want two plain white toadstools. Oh, wrong way up. plate over the top and then I'm gonna put a shim or a couple of pieces of cardstock over the top and send it all through. And hopefully that lot has all cut in one go. I really hope so and it has yay! And there's my five little bugs and I'm going to put all these pieces away because I do not want to lose a single one and my toadstools pop those over there if you haven't heard me say it before don't put it down put it away and you won't lose anything right let's move that out of the way and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my blends and I'm going to go with bright colours Fun bright, bright colours because I want it all to stand. I thought I'd lost one of my toadstools then. I'm just going to pop these centre bits out. One of my cats is in here and she's snoring. <laughs> I don't think you can hear it, but it's a sort of a <gasps> sound. That is really funny. Okay. So they're done. So what colour shall I have? I'm going to go Poppy Parade. Um, lovely lipstick. Daffodil Delight. Is that Call Me Clover? Call Me Clover. So 
How many bugs have I got? I've got five of them. I want a blue. Light Knight of Navy. And a purple, I think. I'll have Dark, dark Highland Heather. So, first I'm going to work on my toadstool. And so I'm covering up the white bit and just going around the red, uh, going around the top. That's that one done. And shall I have a pink, have a pink wiggly worm? And I'm using, the, I'm not blending with them, I'm using them like colouring pens. Um, because blends you don't have to exclusively blend with. I think they make really great colouring pens because you don't get that horrible streaky mark that you get with anything else. Pink bug. Around this one's mouth. I'm going to come back to these in a second. Is this a praying mantis? I think this one is, isn't it? She's probably snoring away. Oh, bless her. She's dreaming. I think you really could go to town if you were doing blend stuff with these, but I'm going with the sort of a the kind of cartoony look that they've got. Is this a fly? It looks like a superhero, this one. Last one. That's going to be quite dark. It might be a shade too dark. Oh well. And around the face and the mouth. Okay, what I'm going to do now is on a couple of things. So this one here, I'm going to come back over the tummy with the same colour. And I would always recommend that you buy blends as a pair. But you can layer up, so you've got the light and the dark. But you can, to a degree, layer up a bit with the dark so you can see the difference between the face and the body there. And you'll particularly see it on this yellow one. Although under my lighting, I'm not sure. And this one too. So you can layer the same colour over the top and it just goes a shade darker. Might come in one more time on the Highland Heather one. How cute is that? How cute are they? Right, and now I've got my Stampin' Right marker in basic black, which you can buy as a single, and I'm just running it round the outside of the top of the toadstool because I wanted the little black edge. Because these have all got black edges and it didn't make sense to not have a black edge on this one. So it's just gone round the edge there. Okay, so thick whisper white. There's my five little insects, and my main glue dots are under. Oh no, I didn't want any glue dots for these. I wanted dimensionals for these, so one behind each of them. Uh, 
and then a couple of toadstools. I'd have preferred to have had an odd number. I might go back and do some more. So that was a mini blue dot because my dimensionals would be too big. And I just sort of rolled it up to make a little ball. And that is cute. It's a white version and a black version. Really, really sweet. I love this set. It's so cute. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.